It's been six years since we've seen Sarah Jane Dias in a movie, but that doesn't mean she hasn't been working. The Angry Indian Goddess of Star has been hard at work on not one, but two successful web series. You are on a fantastic ride. You have been part of these amazing projects, great ensembles. So let's start with the recent one, Made in Heaven 2. Yes. You know, not just the series, but the performances are getting appreciated by many. Yeah. How are you feeling? Is this what you expected? Uh, no. It, I, not at all. Uh, we filmed about two years ago, I think. So I, I kind of left the expectations behind. I try to detach from things, honestly, uh, just, just, just to lessen the pressure. But I'm overwhelmed by the responses. And it's nice because the responses are from men and women, boys and girls. And to me, that means a lot because that means it's resonated with everybody. So, and also to have that kind of appreciation, like you said, in a cast that is just back-to-back -back stellar performances. Um, Arjun and Sobita are like phenomenal. Arjun, Arjun's amazing. So just to receive that in the midst of that combination is such a compliment. We haven't officially dated, but we did see each other unofficially every now and then. When, when did you guys first meet? This is also in contention. <laughs> So, the Christian community in Delhi is really small, right? And all families know each other. So, Roman insists that we met at the Gymkhana, but I don't remember him until he got me to design that flyer for his gig. At a really discounted rate, by the way. And let's also talk about the creators here, Zoya and Rima. Now that you've worked with them, tell me what makes them such great storytellers, in your opinion? I love, in general, I said this in an interview, the attention to detail. I love that. I love it. For me, it makes a big difference. And I don't mean attention to detail in just the obvious set design kind of way. I mean the attention to how each word in each dialogue is delivered, but also leaving space for the actor to create what they want to create in the middle of that. That is something quite unique because you do get directors who will sometimes say, I want it this way, or don't say anything at all. Um, and it's lovely to be work with directors like Rima and Zoya who will rehearse with you, they will tell you how, how you want it, but also give you the space to create something beautiful on your own. I promise to celebrate my success and learn from my failures. Yeah. 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 And I promise to uphold my dreams and always follow my inner moral compass. I promise to be kinder to myself for as long as I live. So when you say this, for me, whenever Zoya film or any project has come, I've always noticed there's no villain. It's always like, you know, your oh, challenges, your pain that. points. Think about that. I'm That's like, so interesting. You know, there's never a villain. When yeah. it's like, you get to and all that, you know, you always have these kind of, you know, internal difficulties. Yeah, and, and whatever re reluctance and resistance is from inside. Correct. And you're dealing with all. That is such an interesting perspective, my friend. Right. Uh, yeah, very true. Your family is not comfortable with who I am. I didn't feel like we were in our society pe mare through when you always soften the blow make them be get all you can out of it the rest this was cute. right from this year wedding function you have jumped into Neeraj Pandey's action world yeah such a contrasting yeah. transition I mean what a different character for you super fun what was it like were, were, you, were you like shooting all these simultaneously or was there like a gap in between uh, there was a bit of a gap in between I did uh, Made in Heaven first and then I did um, Freelancer last year and we shot in Tangiers which is stunning I love Morocco anyway but I hadn't been to Tangiers and we had the best time. They took the best care of us and we had the best co-stars and we had the place that we were shooting which was the the, um, the police station, the CIA headquarters, sorry, not the police station, the CIA headquarters. The outside of that was on a cliff. On a cliff, facing the ocean. You could see Spain in the distance. Naturally, we're concerned about the threat that a US trained pilot poses in terms of a terrorist attack. Surely you understand that. How do we know you won't slaughter the cow after you milked her? One more body in hijab and headscarf buried under a collapsed structure is not really going to matter to you guys. It matters to me. I mean, it matters to us. Look, a deal is a deal. You're going to have to learn to trust us. I want to know from you, was it easy, difficult to get to this point? You know, did your journey, especially in this industry, what have you learned that probably got you mentally prepared for where you are today? 
I think just the experiences of the not so good experiences that have contributed to adding to my self-love practice. So the rejections, all the auditions that didn't work out because for every, people need to understand that for every one part that has worked out, that's 20 failed auditions. Music is my art, music is my home, music is my heart, music is you and me. I've been through months where I've done um, last year in fact when I uh, when I was just after, before I traveled I did about 24 auditions in one month and I didn't get any of those parts and that's a lot of rejection right it was so bad that I had to take a break for a while but then you just come back stronger that's how I'm built but I also the taking the break was my self-love right the taking the break was me saying okay enough I need to now focus on me. I need to do things to make me not feel rejected. There's always a good side in everything, the way you say, the perspective matters. Yeah, you yeah. may not be able to see it initially, man. I'm not like, oh, I lost the job and immediately right. I was like, bah, chalega, yeah, it's cool. let's celebrate. Main self -love no, please, please, okay? I cry. <laughs> Properly cry. Call me, my mama. All of this happens. But um, the bounce back yeah, that is important. becomes quicker. It's so I remember hard. that, you know, when I used to have really bad bouts of depression really? or anxiety, my bounce back sometimes used to take months. Then from months it came down to one month. Then from one month it came down to one week. Now it's a couple of days. I want to know, is acting the dream that come true? Is that what you live for? Was it always the plan or did it no, happen naturally? No, I just, I was just a notanki, right? <laughs> Which is I, good, right? Because in this field, you yeah. have to be a little notanki, right? I was, yeah, I was always like, I don't think, I mean, I didn't mean notanki in like a bad way. I just meant like I was always, a, not, not even a drama queen. Is that the literal translation? Not no, right? Exactly. Yeah, no, notanki exactly. can be like interpreted in different ways, actually. I was a performer from the time I was little, right? So whether I was like a little girl, like, you know, putting on mum's things and walking in front of her and like always, I was always that person. And I stayed that person through school, always on stage, then college. And so it was kind of a natural Flow. progression. Yeah. So when I started to be in front of a camera too, I was never conscious. Just saying, it looks like you had a really interesting day. Okay, now you are being sarcastic. I'm not being sarcastic. What is wrong with you? Listen, there's nothing wrong with me. So there's something wrong with me then? I started this. No, I started you it. You just right? got here for God's exactly. sake. Exactly. Seriously, Seriously Mirai, please just stop doing this, okay? I'm not doing anything. Stop it. Let's order. Why are you? What? People are watching. What? People are watching. There's this one film of yours that still stayed with us and it's one of my favourite films. Okay. Angry Indian Goddesses. Ah. Tell me, does that still hold a special place in your heart? What memories come to your it's mind? It's my when most you... favourite piece of work, my proudest piece of work. And when I watch it and when people watch it, again the moving aspect because it premiered in uh, 21 cities across Germany. So we did a 21 city tour and every time we finished the screening, people would come up to us, hold our hands, give us hugs, crying men and women saying, I know someone who's been through this, I know someone who's been through that, I've been through this, I know my girlfriend's been through that. And forget as an actor, as a human being, just to know that you've been, you've had that impact on someone is really powerful and humbling at the same time. And I'm, I'll never forget that, really. <laughs> We love seeing you in these characters, but I want to ask you how soon do we get to see you after this? What next for you? I have two more films coming out. Um, we don't have the release dates yet, but you get to see me as a cop oh. in one. And then another one, um, which I can't talk about at all, but again, a completely different genre. Okay. 
And then I signed two shows after Made in Heaven came out. So I signed one documentary, which I'm hosting, which I'm really happy about. Um, and I am doing another non-fiction uh, show. So where I'm the lead in the show.